Leaders, one of the things that many of us struggle with is delegation. Leaders, we like getting and going and just rocking down the street and keep leading and doing it all. But eventually, that will burn you out and also cripple your organization or ministry. Today, we're going to talk about leadership delegation, so stick around. Hey, it's a trigger, Rich Bontrager. Welcome back to another Leaders and Communicators, where I share from my 25 years as a pastor, as a leader, as a broadcaster, on more effective ways to lead and communicate so you can reach your goal and defy the odds. Today we're going to talk about leadership delegation, something that did not come easy for me, but I've learned a great deal about. As we get going today, go down to the comment bar below. Evaluate yourself. How well do you delegate right now as a leader? Would you like to learn more to improve this area and become more healthy as a leader? Give me a like, give me a comment, give me a share, hit that little bell, and you'll never miss another Leaders and Communicators right here on my channel. So, I have five things that are going to help you to decide how to delegate better. You want to delegate, I know you do, you don't want to burn out. So I'm going to give you five things to help you get there so everything is better for you. And the first one is... You got to decide what you are really going to focus on and what you are going to do. There comes a point in every leader in every organization where you have to decide, I can't do it all. And you shouldn't be doing it all. You will burn out. You will crash. Your organization will shuffle and it will not be as effective as it once was. You will become the lid on your organization. So what will you do? In the Bible, a guy named Moses, he was the leader of Israel. He led and he led. He poured himself out and eventually he was getting the burnout. He had some wise wisdom given to him one time and the wisdom was, delegate Moses. <laughs> he was told flat out, you need to hand it off to other men and women to do more effective things so you can stay on mission as the top tier leader. We need you as a leader and we need you healthy. So think about it. You may be the visionary leader. That may be one of the things that you guard and protect. That's one that I've had to learn to do. I need time to dream and dream and cast vision. Maybe you do all the hiring, of the top-level hiring. Maybe you need to make sure you guard and protect that. Or maybe you're the guy that does the firing, the, the, the tough conversations. The buck stops here. What are the things that you will do, and you have to decide that is going to be your main focus? So the second thing is, what are other people going to do? That's right. You have to decide what other people will pick up and do for you now that you will no longer be responsible for. You cannot take every phone call anymore, leaders. You cannot respond to every email. You cannot be in every meeting. You may have some people that are great at organizing, meeting. Let them run the meeting so you can keep doing what you need to do. Decide who is going to do it, what they're going to do, and begin putting together a strategy to actually hand the ball off to them. And let them know, it's your ball. I'm expecting you to achieve the goal with expectations. Now, the third thing is, you should decide who you're going to coach. I believe leadership and coaching are very, very important. But you can't coach everyone. If there just comes a point with your organization, you need to decide who you are going to intentionally coach. Some of your top-tier leaders, automatically, they get special coaching from you. But I believe that you want to raise up more leaders, so you need to find two or three apprentices, people that you see future in, and you need to pull them in and say, I'm going to pour into you, but only you, not to everybody. Some people will push back against that, and they'll want your attention, but you have to decide how you're going to be more effective and how you're going to delegate. One way to delegate is tell somebody else on your team, go coach Steve. Steve needs it. But I'm not going to be the one to do it for Steve, but we still need to coach him. Delegate that responsibility as you appoint who you're going to take care of. Now, the fourth thing is, as you grow as an organization, you can't do everything you've done before. Organizations need to keep adapting and adapting because you get bigger, larger. The times and the season change. Trends will change. You need to decide what you did in the past maybe needs to die. Not an ugly death. 
But you need to maybe give it a celebration. We did that for 10 years, and we did that great. But to move our organization forward, to reallocate people and delegate better, I need to let this go, move you over here, and we are all better for it. You need to decide what will die so that you may advance. And finally, the fifth point is, you need to go back and prioritize all of this. Before you make the big switch and become a delegator, you need to come up with a battle plan and a strategy. Take those four first items that I have written down and then come up with a plan. Get your team around you and say, here's the plan to transition from a few of us or maybe the one of us being the bottle, the lid, and delegating more effectively and now calendar it out, transition it out, prioritize it out so you will not have any landmines go off. So, how well do you delegate? Do you long for the day where it's not all on your back? Do you want to raise up new leaders? Delegation is one of the key ways to make that transition. What do you think? Did I miss anything? Are there other things that you thought would help with delegation? Let me hear back from you in the comments section down below. And give me a like, give me a share, give me other comments about communication and leadership. My goal is to help you defy the odds and help you get better at leadership and communication. And of course, don't forget, when you hit that bell, you're never going to miss another one of my coaching videos right here. So until next time, I'm the Trigger, Rich Bontrager. God bless.